Let's talk about the US election. Kamala Harris has selected her running mate, Minnesota Governor Tim Walz. He's been described as being further to the left than Kamala Harris. What do you make of her choice? Yeah, I mean, it's hard to do that. But yeah, he is. <laughs> she's doubled down. I mean, it, it's, it's a joke. I mean, I don't know how anybody could vote for Kamala. She was everybody's last choice. Nobody would endorse her until five minutes ago. She has an abysmal track record. She doesn't speak very well. I'm not sure her thinking process is all that good. Um, uh, you know, uh, she's she's nice to look at and, and, and she's funny sometimes. But, you know, she's not presidential and she's so left. And the things that she's done are so left and so woke and so exactly what America does not need right now. And then she goes and doubles down and picks this guy, which strategically is so stupid. Now, had she picked Josh Shapiro, the governor of Pennsylvania, who's very popular and would have probably won her Pennsylvania, which is, you know, kind of sort of the state yeah. on which this election depends. Absolutely. If she had kind of, if she had Pennsylvania, she probably she didn't pick him. They say because he's Jewish, and the squad, those four ladies, uh, some from Somalia and elsewhere, uh, in Congress who are very anti-Israel and anti a lot of other things, are pretty much running what I call the new the new Democrats these days. And they said no, 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 Josh, no Jew, and so she picked him. And I I, I think she's probably lost the election as a result of picking. Uh, somebody mm -hmm. so far left with a, a track record of his own, which is probably not even as good as hers, which isn't very good. And at the moment, Kamala Harris is just refusing to give interviews. Meanwhile, Elon Musk is set to interview Donald Trump on Monday. What can we expect from that? Can I? May I just go back and add one thing about Kamala that I, I forgot to say, which of is course. that I think the reason that Joe Biden is still president until January, which is of all the insane things going on in the world, and there sure are a lot of them at the moment, for him to remain, a man who is not fit to run for public office, to be running the free world for six months from now until January, I think the reason for that is because if he stepped down from the presidency, as well as the candidacy he stepped down from, and Kamala took over, she would probably make a mistake before November, just like Picky Waltz, that would cost the Democrats the election. That's why they're Possibly. keeping Joe in place. Yeah, Elon Musk. I'm sorry, ask me again, please. Yes, yeah, so what can we expect? Elon Musk had to interview Donald Trump on Monday. It's, a lot of eyes will be on that one. Uh, I think there's a triumvirate of, of, of three, maybe five people that are... are kind of potentially the saviors of all this. I think there's Donald Trump. I think there's Elon Musk, who has to be now, even more than Biden, the most powerful human being on the planet. Mm -hmm. uh, um, I mean, Musk could, could put any country out of business in five minutes by repurposing his satellites and knocking out all theirs. It's, it's incredible. Uh, so Donald Trump, Elon Musk, Tucker Carlson, and I would add uh, my friend Douglas Murray, I, uh, and also Jordan Peterson, five. I think those people can bring some sense and reason to the world, and I think that's what they're doing. I think the debate between uh, Musk and Trump on Monday will be something very special uh, to watch and probably uh, very exciting and 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 rather exciting and, and inspiring. I think that Elon is getting a lot of flack at the moment because he's taken on the president of Venezuela, hasn't he? And now he's taken on the brand new prime minister of Britain and 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 and, and Starmer and the Labour Party don't like that at all. But uh, he's in a position to do so. Um, uh, he's also pretty right in the things that he's saying. And he's got a tool called X, which is the largest communications tool in the world now. So uh, he's pretty unstoppable. Roger, thank you so much for joining us on Power Hour. Great to speak with you. Great to talk to you too.